everybody! Welcome back to Crafted by Norma. At long last I've managed to finish the final um, oh, um, journals that I've been, um, I've been making. I've been quite busy. So these are the staggered journals, uh, the, finished, um, the finished ones. I've left two which I'm going to put in my Etsy shop as uh, just naked ones so you can fill yourself. So the first one is, it's just got writing on it, so it's ideal for uh, for journaling. It's a bit on the grungy side, but I quite like grunge. Uh, I probably will make a few more floral, botanical, um, prettier ones. So they're the um, the sort of base for you to play around with. And on each one, I've got to put a little note uh, book in uh, ready for you to, to decorate. So that's that one. And on this one, I've got to put a little tag just to show you how I make my uh, my little tags. So that's that one. And then this one is uh, maps, uh, sort of like travel um, as such. So again, I've gone and put one of the flips in the in the front for you, and I've also put a little um, map notelet at the back. Now this one is quite interesting because this one is actually a vintage map of the area that I live in. So there you can see you've got uh, the River Merseyside, Eastern Ferry, the Manchester Ship Canal. Uh, so that's all part and parcel of where I, I live and I thought that was quite nice. So again, I'm going to put a little tag on there to show you how I make my little tags. So that's another naked one that's going to be put into my uh, Etsy shop uh, after this video. So the finished versions. Okay. So this one is the, uh, the Inventor. Um, I've made a couple of these now, I quite like uh, the Tim Holtz papers and then I've got some nice images to go work, to go in them and again these are complete and they are actually on my, well this one is on my uh, Etsy shop at this moment in time. So it opens out and there's all sorts of bits and pieces in here. So I've got one of my little uh, fob clocks which I've got again for sale, a little pack of those for sale, little photos. I've got a little pack there of envelopes and, uh, and papers. The little tags there, which are from uh, Tracy Fox. So thank you, Tracy. I just love your little tags. And they've got tickets, and they've got little places to put your journaling in. Uh, and it goes uh, right the way um, through the whole of the, um, the journal. And that one is made from an envelope. Uh, window and I'm just going to cut it out with another uh, one of my dies to make it a little bit more interesting rather than just on square and again a tag I think this is the tag oh this is the tag book yeah so I made a little tag book there you go just to uh, just to slot into there and then each of the pages as I say have got little uh, little tags on that I've made and again, this is another little book that I made, a little notelet um, for journaling in. So quite uh, quite pretty. I don't know where these have come from. A friend passed me some um, images. Uh, she could give me a bag. So thank you, Linda, for your <laughs> your gift. It has uh, it has uh, been used. So thank you so much. And again, a little envelope there, uh, a journaling card. I say they slot in and out. Uh, postcards. Uh, so there's there's all sorts of bits and bobs in there, and again I've put an, at the back there a notebook book. This time I've gone and used because it's more um, maths science. I've gone and used the maths paper for the uh, for the notebook at the back. So there's that one, and then I made this one, which is uh, again uh, the travel one. Uh, very very similar and I've used one of my tags which I'll do a demonstration on how to do um, to do the tags um, using gel a heavy gel as my uh, medium for doing my um, stenciling uh, and then each corner has got one of the uh, stabilizers I think that's what they're called so again I've got a tag at the front there for everything to click into uh, a little um, little tag there with a pen, nib, papers, uh, little fold up here. So each each book is slightly different the way I've put the envelopes in order. Uh, but just to give you a sort of um, idea of what I've gone and done. 
that one's just a long thin tag because I found a really nice um, stamp in my stash of stamps and I thought that would be quite nice uh, an index card coffee stained oh this, this paper here is lovely I love this this is a Tom, uh, Tim Holtz distress papers pad um, that I came across uh, and again um, I think I purchased it off Linda a while back um, all comes in all different colours but uh, I do like it because I've um, embossed it and then sanded it down and again it makes the most amazing little tags as you can see on, on that one so again it's got filled with uh, journaling cards envelopes, tags of all descriptions um, right the way right the way through on this one I've gone and put a little uh, charm that I came across of the uh, Eiffel Tower yeah, I'm sure it's the Eiffel Tower not the Blackpool Tower because we've got our own uh, tower here in the northwest and again it's another piece of the map um, and I live on this map I live about here so it's just off the map um, and again that one's just got a uh, coffee stain paper in so that's that's that one so as I say both of these will be um, for sale as well in my uh, Etsy shop and then I was set a challenge and the challenge was to make a double pocket double sided pocket um, there's four of us ladies that meet on a regular basis so this is my um, challenge completed so I've done a little notebook book that fits into into there just with some um, lined paper and then a little um, whoops that's got stuck there let's move that out of the way um, a little tag uh, a little pocket made from a small envelope with a journaling card in a little tag like so and then on the other side it's uh, another pocket made in a different way um, and then I've just filled the pockets with tags and journaling cards, um, etc. And I will probably give this away when I reach, because uh, I'm just under um, 500 subscribers. So this is an opportunity for me to say thank you so much to everyone for uh, following me and subscribing to my, um, my YouTube. Uh, I do appreciate the fact that people are looking at uh, what I do and making such lovely comments on the work that I do. Uh, I do appreciate it, so thank you so much. So this is going to be my free giveaway uh, when I reach that 500 mark. I'll just um, at random pick a name out of the list and uh, send it to you. So again, thank you so much. And if you are enjoying looking at uh, the video, please do subscribe and also check out my work on uh, Instagram and my Etsy shop, uh, both under Crafted by, by Norma. And then last but not least, um, I've done some leather work, which is not usually my style, um, but this is a leather notebook book, and the leather has actually come from a leather vintage skirt that uh, I bought uh, a while back. It is so soft and pliable. Uh, in actual fact, it was too soft, so what I've had to do is line it with paper, and then I've just gone and put in some plain... Um, paper there and I've hand sewn them in so there's one two three four there's five signatures there of of papers as a journal and I've gone and put that on um, my Etsy shop as well um, for sale and then with this it's just hand sewn um, I think you call it is it rip rack tic tac rip rack rip rack rip rack uh, as a as a ribbon just to uh, to tie it off but the leather itself was lovely and I've also gone and done a, um, a mixed media canvas using all the bits that were left over, the, um, the zip and the other bits and pieces that were left over from the skirt. And I've made another couple of, uh, of books, um, but I just thought you might be just interested in seeing, um, seeing that one. It is beautiful leather, it really is, it's lovely and soft. So that's it for today. And the end of my staggered journal um, journey, I suppose you'd call it, just using bits and pieces, my make, do and make uh, range. I'll do something else uh, a bit similar 
uh, in the next couple of uh, videos. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again. Bye.